Hi, I'm Ashish Patel from Kent State University, class of 2006. I'm here at Google headquarters in Mountain View, California to interview the Vice President and Chief Internet Evangelist, Dr. Winton Cerf. Known as one of the fathers of the internet, Dr. Cerf is the co-designer of the TCP IP protocols and the architecture of the internet. In other words, he played a key role in founding and developing the internet. Working with the Defense Department in the 70s and 80s, he led the development of internet and security technologies. He then went on to such prestigious post as a senior vice president at MCI before landing at Google, a company whose goal is to organize world's information and make it universally accessible. I'm currently a senior at Kent State, majoring in business management. I can't wait to talk to Dr. Surf about his impressive accomplishments and the defining moments in his career. Dr. Surf, where did you go to college and what did you major in? My undergraduate time was spent at Stanford University and I was a math major and I pretty quickly discovered that maybe computing would be a lot more interesting. So when I finished, I went to work for IBM in Los Angeles and the reason that I'm telling you this is that there's this two-year gap between finishing my undergraduate degree in mathematics and going to UCLA for graduate work. Having gone to work for two years at IBM as a systems engineer, I realized at the end of that time that I really needed to go back to school to get an advanced degree in computer science. Did you know what you wanted to do when you were in college? Uh, I very quickly got excited about computing and programming uh, so I knew that, that there was something about computing that was very attractive to me. How did you become interested in information technology? In 1968, the U.S. Defense Department released a request for quotation, an RFQ, kind of like a request for proposal, uh, to build a computer network to link the computer science departments that DARPA was funding uh, around the United States. By good fortune, one of the professors at UCLA, Leonard Kleinrock, had proposed a network measurement center uh, on the campus as part of this ARPANET project. And he got a grant to do that work and hired me to be one of the programmers. So in some sense, my career has always been about information technology, even from the earliest stages. How did you get your first big break? If ever there was a big break, it was the internet project that, uh, that Bob Kahn proposed at DARPA. It was a research experiment to begin with. Many of us who were part of that environment and continued to contribute to it uh, felt very strongly that this could become a very, very uh, powerful tool. Can you tell me what you consider to be the defining moment in your career? There was a date in November of 1977, I think it was November 22nd. For the first time, we got three different packet switch nets to interwork together in a demonstration. We connected that to the ARPANET went across the U.S. over a satellite link to uh, Norway and to London. And then we transmitted data back to a shared packet satellite network on Intelsat 4A, back uh, into the ARPANET and all the way across uh, the country to the USC Information Sciences Institute. That's an 88,000 mile round trip because there were two satellite hops involved. All three of the networks performed. All the data got through. Uh, and I remember sitting there thinking, now we know that this technology will actually work for more than two networks. That was a big deal because if you can get it to work for three, you can get it to work for any number. What three adjectives best describe your career path? Luck, persistence, and a lot of smart colleagues are the, are the three things that I associate with my own career. Which of your professional accomplishments are you most proud of? I think it is that I was lucky enough to stumble on an idea that a lot of other people were persuaded was worth spending time and energy on. So of all the things that, that I've uh, been uh, lucky to do in my career, working on the internet is clearly one of them, uh, and the opportunity to continue to explore new ideas at companies like Google.